Hi everyone, it's Dave here. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of some Year 12 general maths for you. I'm going to do a masterclass on some of the topics and questions that uh, I get asked all the time uh, to help revise for the HSC. And so the first topic I'm going to look at is solving simultaneous equations, uh, and I'm going to do a few examples with you uh, looking at both uh, methods, both substitution and elimination. Now there are two methods that you can use to solve a simultaneous equation. Uh, both of them work. Both of them will give you the correct solution provided that you've, you've done the algebra correctly. So when you see a question in an exam, my advice would be uh, that you choose the one method that you feel most confident with, that you feel most comfortable with, uh, and you choose the one that, the, that leads itself, I guess, to, to whichever method you want to choose. Uh, so I'm going to do a few examples of the substitution method. Now substitution sounds exactly uh, as it does in other contexts, and substitute means you replace one thing with another. And so the substitution method means that we're going to replace the variable in one equation um, with a variable in the other equation. And I've got a couple of examples that I want to run through that show you what I mean. Uh, so firstly, let's say that this is uh, our simultaneous set of equations. We've got y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals x minus 3. So this is equation 1 and this is equation number 2. Now notice that they're both given as y equals. And so what I can do is I can equate or I can replace the letter y in one equation with this expression in the other. And so it's true that I can say that 2x minus 1 is equal to x minus 3. And so now that gives us just a linear equation with one variable to solve, and we can use our normal tricks that we have uh, in order to solve. And so we do numbers left, letters right, divide and solve. So numbers left means we're going to look at the numbers on the left-hand side of the equation, and we're going to do the opposite function uh, in order to cancel them out. And so if it's minus 1 on the left, we're going to plus 1 on the left-hand side and cancel that, and we have to plus 1 on the other side uh, and equate them together. And so on the left-hand side, I get 2x equals, and on the right-hand side, I now get x equals. Now minus 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And so that's numbers left. Now we're going to do letters right. And that means we're going to do the same deal with letters on the right-hand side of the equation. Now this is x, uh, and that's also ninja plus invisible 1x. And so therefore the opposite would be subtract. And so we're going to subtract x from each of the right-hand sides, and we're going to subtract x as well from the left. And 2x minus x is equal to 1x. And so I get x is equal to negative 2. So therefore, I now know that x is equal to negative 2. I have to find y. And so I'm going to use the fact that x equals 2, x equals negative 2, back to resolve. Now I can substitute back into either of these two equations. Uh, number 2 looks nicer, and so we're going to use um, that expression. So therefore, it must be true then that y uh, is equal to minus 2 minus 3. Uh, which is equal to negative 5. And so my solution is that x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to negative 5. And my tip would be to underline each of these answers, maybe put a box or a circle around your solution so your markers can see clearly. But you must give both variables uh, when you want to solve that equation. So let's have a look at a second example over here. Let's change the colour of the pen just because we can. Uh, and this time we've got y equals x plus 2 and 3x plus y equals 6. So we can use the substitution method again. What I would do is I'm going to replace the letter y, uh, which is x plus 2. I'm going to replace the letter y with this expression into the second one. And so it's going to be true that I can say that 3x plus, and I'm going to put this in brackets, x plus 2 is equal to 6. And so therefore, I'm just going to uh, deal with what I've got over here on the left-hand side, and, I've got, and that 3x plus x is 4x, so I've got 4x plus 2 is equal to 6. Again, it's a linear equation. There's no letter y. I'm just solving for x. And so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So numbers left. X, 4x is equal to 4. Now I don't have any letters on the left on the right hand side, which is awesome. I'm just going to divide and solve. And so x is equal to 4 divided by 4, which is equal to 1. And so therefore, what I can say is that x is equal to 1. Now, I want to resubstitute into the original equation, so I'm going to use the fact that I know that x is equal to 1, and I'm going to replace it back into either of these equations. So let's choose the first one this time. y must be equal to x plus 2, and if x is 1, therefore y has to be 1 plus 2. And so therefore we can say that y equals 3. And so our solution for the second example is that x is equal to 1, and y equals 3. And again, we've made it nice and clear uh, that that's exactly what we're doing. All right, now a third example for you. Again, let's change the pen color. 
this time, let's go to this one. It's got x equals 2y plus 3 and 2x plus y equals 21. We can use the substitution method. I think the sensible thing to do would be to, in fact, use the letter x as the expression 2y plus 3 and substitute that back into the second one. And so everywhere I see the letter x, I'm going to substitute it with 2y plus 3. So therefore, I'm going to write that 2 and I'm going to use brackets 2y plus 3 plus y is equal to 21. Now I need to expand these brackets to solve, but that's not too much of a problem at all because 4y plus 6, remember 2 times 2y is 4y, 2 times 3 is 6, so 4y plus 6 plus y is equal to 21. Let's collect like terms. So 4y plus y is 5y, so I get 5y plus 6 equals 21. Now, numbers left, letters right, divide and solve. So let's subtract 6 from both sides, cancel the numbers on the left, and I get that 5y uh, is equal to 15. And when we're going to divide, let's divide both sides by 5, divide and solve. Therefore, y equals 3. So now I know that y equals 3. I can re-substitute back into that original expression. And uh, it doesn't matter which one we choose. We have to solve both. Let's just substitute them back into the first one. So if x is equal to 2y plus 3, therefore x must be equal to 2 outside of 3 plus 3. And so therefore uh, that's 6 plus 3 equals 9. So therefore x must be equal to 9. And so I can say that my solution for this expression uh, is that x equals 9 and y equals 3. And there it is. Uh, there we go. Alright, one last one for you today. This time we've got 5a plus c equals 7 and a minus c equals 5. And again, we want to solve uh, for, between these equations here. Now we can substitute, but you'll notice that one of these isn't written as a equals or c equals. That's okay. We can slightly rearrange one of these expressions to give us that. And so if I take this second one here, if I add c to both sides, that would give me the expression that a is equal to 5 plus c. And in fact, that hasn't changed the equation. And so I can, in fact, substitute that into my original one and away we go. And so therefore, I can say that 5 outside of 5 plus c plus c is equal to 7. And so let's work a little bit with that one. We'll expand again. So 25 plus 5c plus c equals 7. Again, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times c is 5c. And so 25 plus 6c is equal to 7. Now, don't freak out at this point. We will have negative numbers, but it's not a stress at all. Let's minus 25 from both sides. And when we subtract 25 from both sides, I get that 6c is equal to minus 18. That's okay. Divide and solve. Divide both sides by 6. And therefore, we can say that 6 is equal to negative 3. And so there's the first half of my solution. The last thing I want to do is re-substitute back into the original expressions. And I want to find a value for a. I can re-substitute into this one into this one, or I could even do it into this one as well because they all mean exactly the same thing. So therefore, if a is equal to 5 plus c, it's true then that a must be equal to 5 plus minus 3. And so therefore, that means a subtraction. And so therefore, a is equal to uh, 5 minus 3, which is 2. And so my solution here is that a equals 2 and c equals negative 3. And there you go. We're done. That's how you solve simultaneous equations and you do it via the substitution method.